I am not a tribal citizen. Uh, I had a good conversation last week with Chief Baker, who is chief of the Cherokee tribes, and I told Chief Baker uh, that I am sorry that I extended confusion about tribal citizenship and tribal sovereignty and for harm caused. I am also sorry for not being more mindful of this uh, decades ago. Tribes and only tribes determine tribal citizenship. I had a good conversation with Chief Baker. He was very gracious and uh, we continued to talk about issues and continue to work on issues that matter deeply to Indian country uh, and uh, continue to work on things that we both care a lot about. So Senator, why mm -hmm. did you list yourself as an American Indian on, on this Texas Bar application? So this was about 30 years ago and um, uh, I am not a tribal citizen. Uh, tribes and only tribes determine citizenship. Uh, when I was growing up uh, in Oklahoma, I learned about my family the same way most people do. My brothers and I learned from our mom and our dad and our brothers and our sisters, and those were our family stories. Uh, but that said, there really is an important distinction of tribal citizenship. I am not a member of a tribe, and I have apologized for not being more sensitive to that distinction. It's an important distinction. That nothing about my background ever had anything to do with any job I got in any place. It's been fully documented and there's no evidence of any kind other than it had nothing to do. My are there any more documents or any more do. Are there any more documents or any more forms like this out there that you have listed yourself as that could come out? Look, this is who I uh, grew up believing with my brothers. This is our family story. So I haven't spoken with anyone since I saw this information, no. But my apology is an apology for not having been more sensitive about tribal citizenship and tribal sovereignty. Um, I really want to underline the point, tribes and only tribes determine tribal citizenship. It is an issue of tribal sovereignty.